Kim Commando, Kim Commando. She's a lady, she's a lady, she's a lady who we love. Welcome to Commando On Demand Insider with Kim Commando, your fast-paced weekly update straight from Kim's desk to your ears. I'm Mike James, and there are several types of yodeling. Now, why are we talking about yodeling during a digital lifestyle podcast? Well, it's all going to come together here in just a few moments. First of all, there's good old cowboy yodeling. There's also traditional German yodeling. Jewel even has her own yodel. There's even something called Northern Montana yodeling. How does all this come together with the digital lifestyle? As he does from the stage, here's Wiley Gustafson to explain. Back in 1996, I uh, came up with a little three-note yodel for a small company. Then they were very small. They were named Yahoo. A small startup company. Yeah, they still named Yahoo. And they had the three notes that, uh, that they made pretty famous. They go like this. Yahoo! You may have heard those three notes. They're my only hit. It's a short song, but a successful song. But we wrote a song about it. It's called The Yodeling Fool. It goes just like this. So today, we talked to Wiley and his amazing story of how he became the Yahoo yodeler. He eventually sued the company, and then he went to work for the company at one point. Uh, the whole story is coming up next on Commando On Demand. And by the way, this is not the Kim Commando Show. Every week, Kim gives you three hours of the very best digital life experience on over 400 radio stations nationwide. The Kim Commando Show is available as a podcast. And right now, you can get a free 30-day trial by using promo code KIM when you check out at getkim.com. Again, that's getkim.com. Become a the Commando community member, and uh, when you check out, just use promo code Kim for your free 30-day trial. It's the Yahoo Yodeler up next on this edition of Commando on Demand. But now the townsfolk just laughed, turned their backs. He was the local yodeling fool. He practiced every night His song seemed to be his only friend One day he disappeared in them towns Folk cheered her and will never have to hear him again Well, no longer on the streets and the alleys and the bars Could you hear his lonesome tune? For the boy had gone and taken with them His song of a local yodeling I'm so excited to have Wiley here with us. Well, let me tell you about Wiley. Wiley Gustafson has 22 albums and three decades of performing, writing, and recording under his belt. His band is Wiley and the Wild West, and they're known for this kind of crazy blend of, of cowboy, and then you have traditional country and folk, and then you have something that you'd never expect, yodeling. And I spent some time on Wiley's YouTube channel this morning, and I couldn't help but be in a good mood and smile every time I was listening to one of his songs. And the songs have titles like The Yodel Boogie, Buck Up and Huck It, which I didn't really know what it was until I listened to the song. 
And in 1996, he was the voice in the Yahoo ad. I mean, who can forget that? Yahoo! It was everywhere. It was in bottle openers and doorbells and toys. Of course, we had in our speakers. um, You heard it in the Super Bowl commercials, TV shows, movies. And, you know, it was all about Yahoo. And you may not know this, but before Yahoo was Yahoo, It was actually called Jerry's Guide to the World Wide Web. Like, who would ever think that? Anyway, so they went public. They made a boatload of money. And then that's when they decided, like in this tech boom, that they were going to get out there and tell everybody about this great search site, Yahoo. And joining us here on the Kim Commando Show special guest line is Wiley himself. So, Wiley, my first question is, did you make a ton of money off of that? Because I was just positive that whoever did that yodel, they sure did. Well, for a cowboy singer in the tw- 21st century, I did make a bunch of money off of it. You know, we, as a as a folk singer, country singer, we're used to starving half the time. So that was a pretty good payday when Yahoo came knocking at our door. So, so did you have like did you have an agent who said, Wiley, I I, I have a use for your yodel? Were you yodeling then? I was. I lived down in the Los Angeles area, had a band, and through some of the connections down there, they found out I yodeled. And I started ending up in a lot of national TV commercials uh, because yodeling was popular, especially in the early 90s, mid-90s. Also, surf guitar was popular, too. But I was the yodeling guy that they went to, and we did, I don't know, Mitsubishi, Miller Lite, Taco Bell. We did a bunch of national commercials. So was it something that you just picked up? Did you do it as a kid? Did somebody teach you how to yodel? Yeah, my dad was a yodeler. He loved to yodel. He would yodel whenever he was happy, and he was a happy guy. So whether it was out on horseback, you know, we, we grew up in a cowboy culture and an outdoor Montana culture. So whether we were horseback or out on the ski hill, dad would let out a yodel lots of times, and I thought that was so cool. And so, of course, I tried mimicking my father. And then at school, my Friends just thought I was weird, so they would elbow me every time they wanted to get a yodel out of me, and it kind of <laughs> kept the girls away too. So I kind of like that about it. So. <laughs> just the guy, he's he's a, he's a nice guy, but he's just a little strange. He yodels. <laughs> You're right, <Okay>. right. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, so did you have to like submit samples for the Yahoo ad or? Yeah, so they um, actually lived in Washington at the time. I'd moved back to uh, my wife's farm up in in the Northwest, and they gave me a call because I, I I was the yodel guy, and they and they said we have a new company that's just going public. Their name's Yahoo. Have you ever heard of them? And I actually had um, I used them, so I said, yeah, that sounds great. And when I got down there, they said, well, we want to incorporate a yodel into the Yahoo name, so. For about 10 minutes, I did a bunch of different yodels, and, um, you know, they eventually picked uh, a couple of them uh, for the short list, and, and, uh, you know, those are the ones that uh, ended up in their ad campaign. Did you – so you knew it was for Yahoo. I mean, you knew it was for the search site. Yes. Did you get paid, like, a a union rate on that? So the story was it was a union rate but for a regional commercial – um, and so back then it was, I think they were just doing a commercial for, uh, regionally and that's what I did for the ad company. And so this was 1996 when they went pub- public and the commercial was a success played for a few months and, you know, you get a one-time payment for a regional commercial through the union. Well, then in about 2000, I was watching the Super Bowl, and, uh, along came a Yahoo ad and the end of the ad, my yodel was there. And I said, wait a minute, this isn't a regional commercial. This is a Super Bowl commercial, and they're using my yodel. So I started writing letters to Yahoo and trying to contact them, of course, without any luck. Um, you know. And eventually, after writing several letters, I, I finally, my manager convinced me to get a hold of a lawyer. And then once we talked to their legal department, of course, they got right back to us. And and uh, after a couple months of wrangling around, we, we came up with a settlement and uh, they were happy. And after that, after that settlement, I started uh, actually working for Yahoo, doing their promotional and marketing campaigns. And we did one of our campaigns was the find 
finding the world's best amateur yodeler. So we went to eight of the big cities in the United States and did an amateur yodeling contest, which was a lot of fun. So we had fun with it. They realized the power of the yodel and, you know, it was a quirky, weird, fun thing, which they wanted to be. And it just worked, you know, companies don't usually get lucky enough to have a audio icon and the yodel the timing was just right it worked and it represented their com- company and i remember um you know the how how pervasive that yodel was it was everywhere and everybody knew it that yodel was everywhere did people like recognize you from your yodel they did actually if they they didn't visually but once they found out i was the yahoo yodel guy they they always wanted a yodel you know so i don't know how many um times i yodel for people doing the yahoo yodel and i would do you know um cell phone tones for them record, recorded on their phone wherever i was and of course <laughs> a part of the yahoo promotion uh, i did get uh, a fair amount of recognition for being the yahoo yodeler on your youtube channel you have a you have a video about how to be yodel a yodeler for you you want me to yodel the key ingredient to yodeling properly is relaxation. So we're going to try a couple techniques here that to help you relax and help get your voice warmed up. And the first thing that we're going to do is the dejected sigh. Try it yourself. The next step in learning how to yodel is finding our natural voice break. And the voice break is probably one of the most important parts of the yodel. And to find the voice break, we're going to do something really weird. We're talking to the Yahoo yodeler, Wiley Gustafson, on this edition of Commando On Demand. We thank you for listening, and there's more coming up, including what he's doing now. Well, one day Farmer Bill had his truck parked on a hill with his radio blaring across the town. Who should he hear coming in so loud and clear? It was that local yodeling clown. It was heard up on the streets, in the alleys, and the bars. A voice that rang so true. Well, that lucky little duck, he earned a million bucks from that internet giant Yahoo. can do what you do yeah you know it's one of those things i think where if you're born with it it helps but um i've had people that just want to learn how to yodel and eventually we get to them the hardest thing of course is the smooth voice break and i think you're born with that but like anything else if you work hard enough at it you can get it so can can you do that yodel for us now yeah that's it three notes i thought my big radio success would be a three-minute song. It was a three-note song. So. <laughs> and three seconds, I think, right? Right, yeah. And it just goes to show you sometimes, you know, you don't know where your success is going to come from. But I've always loved to yodel, and um, it's been part of what I do for a long time. So it was nice to be able to have success doing something that I love to do. So are are you on the road? 
I am. Yeah, we travel. Oh, we probably do 60 or 70 shows a year. We usually do folk festivals, um, uh, country music festivals, cowboy poetry festivals. We do all sorts of things. But we've been around for about 30 years now doing our own brand of cowboy music and traditional country. And uh, we've developed a, a cult following. We're kind of a boutique traditional country band, I guess. So do you guys always wear a jacket and tie when you perform? Because I noticed that in your videos. We do. My dad always told me if you can't sound good, at least look good. So we, we got the looking good covered, you know, in case we don't sound good. So, <laughs> Well, you know, Wiley, thank you so much for joining us. Um, what a treat it has been to learn more about you. Because, it's, I mean, you are. You're an icon in the tech industry, whether you know it or not. Well, thank you. And it's a pleasure to be on your show. I've been listening to your show for a long time now. Um, usually driving back from a gig out in the middle of nowhere, I dial into an AM station and there you are with your with your uh, tech advice. So it's, I was pretty jacked when, when I got the email saying that you wanted to talk to me. Well, thank you, Wiley, for your kind words. And, All um, right. And if you ever want to, like, do a duo, I'm here. I'm okay. here. All right, we can do it. <laughs> thank you, Kim. You got it. Thanks so much to our special guest, Wiley Gustafson. And, of course, thank you for listening. Now, you got to go get your your yodel going. Let us know how it goes. Uh, plenty of instructional videos on YouTube on how to yodel. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You'll get these podcasts downloaded to your device every single week. And, again, thank you, and we'll see you next time for another Commando On Demand Insider.